Welcome to Art with Liz. Today we're going to be working on paper molas. What are molas? Well, they're colorful fabric panels made by the Kuna people in Panama. They are used for decorative purposes on clothing and furniture and also as wall hangings. Traditional molas were hand sewn using several layers of different colored cloth. Generally, animals, plants, and geometric patterns were used when creating molas. All right, let's get our supplies together. First, we're gonna need four sheets of construction paper in different colors. Next, we're gonna need a glue stick, a pencil, and also a pair of scissors. All right, let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna draw your pattern, your plant, or your animal on the first piece of construction paper. Make sure you do it on one side so you have plenty of scraps left over. Then you're gonna take your scissors and cut it out. Next, you'll flip them over and put glue all over the back. Okay, once you have all your glue on the back, you're gonna choose your second color of construction paper. You're gonna glue your item on one side again, making sure you have plenty of extra paper for scraps. Make sure you press them down really good so he's stuck on there. Then you're gonna take your pencil and draw a halo or a shadow around your animal or your plant or your pattern. You don't need much space, but just so you can still see both colors. Then you're gonna cut out your halo. See, just like that. Now flip them over and guess what? You're gonna add some more glue to the back side. Great. Now that you have glue on the back side, you're gonna choose your next color construction paper and you're gonna glue them on there. Again, do it to one side so you have plenty of scrap paper left over. So stick the fish or your animal or your plant on there, then grab your pencil and you're gonna do the shadow or the halo around the whole pattern again. Great, now grab your scissors and cut out your pattern again. So now I have three layers, the black fish, the yellow and the red. Flip it all over again and put glue on the back side. Once the glue's on there, you're gonna take your last piece of construction paper. Instead of sticking it to one side, you're gonna stick them right in the middle. Push them down and make sure he's stuck really well to your background color. Awesome. Now grab your pencil again, and we're gonna make some more shapes and patterns. Starting from the edge of your paper, draw some shapes into the center of your page. You don't wanna get too close to your fish or your animal or your plant, but just some interesting shapes to add some dimension to your mola. Grab your scissors, and we're gonna cut out those shapes. So now flip your paper over, and all those scraps that we use, they're gonna come in handy. So you're gonna put some glue around the shapes you just cut out, and then decide what color scraps you want. You don't need a whole sheet of paper, just whatever will fill the area you just cut out. So glue those papers on there. You'll add some more glue to all the areas you cut out, and use your scrap paper to fill it in. There, that looks awesome. All right, I think I'm going to add some more. So I'm gonna take my pencil and do the same process at the top. Start from the edge of the paper and draw just kind of a pattern or some sort of shape that I'm gonna cut away and add some scrap color behind it. Take my scissors again and cut those out. Next, you know the process. We're gonna flip it over and add some glue. 
Then we can choose what color scraps we want to use and glue those scraps onto the areas we just cut out. Perfect. Now grab some more scraps and just kind of cut some shapes or patterns out from all those. We're going to add glue to the back of them and then we're going to add them on top of our images. So you can see I added some yellow on the fish and different colors around all the cutout areas. Great. We're all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.